Second and goal. Breeze to another Viking. Adam Thielen. It seems like all has been forgiven and forgotten as the Saints and Vikings playing nicely with each other here in the first quarter at the Pro Bowl and the NFC leads six to nothing. Well, you look mentioned Drew Brees dealing it to each and every guy. Here he goes to Thielen after going to Kyle Rudolph. We add our best wishes to Ryan Shazier. Roethlisberger dumps it off. Jack Doyle, the tight end for the Colts. Well, if there was any question that there would be hitting, we have a hit and then some from Quan Alexander in his first Pro Bowl for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Perhaps he's not fully familiar with the traditions and etiquette of the Pro Bowl. Well, this is a hit, and I played with Jack Doyle. He's a big dude. He's like 265, and Quan Alexander delivering the hit. Proud of trick play so they didn't spend a lot of time practicing this week so here's Chris Boswell from the Steelers another of the Steelers who's had a terrific year in his third year he kicks the field goal so Tyreek Hill back for the punt in a driving rainstorm Johnny Hecker seems to become the best punter in the NFL fourth Pro Bowl third in a row these guys aren't used to covering kicks and Hill Cannot hang on to it. Buda Baker, the Arizona Cardinals, runs it in for a touchdown. On this wet field, and with a wet ball, a fumble by Tyreek Hill. And now the officials are conferring about whether or not this was a muff, and are they going to spot the ball back near the 20-yard line? Well, clearly a fumble by Tyree Kill. Obviously, the wet conditions. Therefore, by rule, the kick cannot be advanced by the kicking team. It will be first down for the AFC at the spot of recovery. Oh. In his eighth year in the NFL and his first Pro Bowl. Missed only one field goal all year. Led the NFL in percentage at 96.7. And that one's good from 43 yards. Seven point lead for the NFC in Orlando. Former well, teammate and punter. He'll get, the, he'll get the hold for field goals and extra points. Roethlisberger deep down the field and intercepted by the Vikings, Harrison Smith. Harrison Smith may score. Delaney Walker had a shot at him, couldn't trip him up, and it's an interception return of 79 yards for a touchdown by the Vikings, Harrison Smith. Well, Ben Roethlisberger tries to take a shot to his teammate, Antonio Brown. The ball hangs up. When he first caught it, when Harrison Smith first caught it, I said, oh, just knock it down for field position and then what do I know he takes it to the house pick six for Harrison Smith Delaney Walker can't make the tackle moving along the line of scrimmage no flags down the we see deep throw for Jarvis Landry and the catch made as he got behind Xavier Rhodes all the way to the 10 yard line Smith, and it's intercepted by Patrick Peterson. He was trying to get it to Delaney Walker. And Peterson picked it off. Well, ill-advised throw by Alex Smith. This was a hope and a prayer to Delaney Walker, hoping something great happened. Patrick Peterson says no. He tapped his head, looked for the double move to Thielen. If he wants it. it Looks like he tapped his head. He's throwing it deep for Thielen, who gets belted by Kevin Byard of the Tennessee Titans. So here's Gano for a 40-yard field goal. And it is good. So when it's their turn to negotiate, they'll get played at a high rate. Throwing catch. T.Y. Hilton. Through a couple of defenders, T.Y. Hilton of the Colts. 
First down to the 19-yard line of the NFC. More of a possession receiver so far today, but I can tell you this guy is a deep threat. Guy plays the ball deep better than anybody that I've ever played with. When he's running full speed, it's like he's standing still. The guy tracks the ball so well. Plus that he made on the franchise tender this year. And then the $8 million or so a year on average that Devontae Freeman, the second highest paid running back in the NFL, makes. With the I bet of these young running backs like Kareem Hunt doing as well as they are, it's going to be interesting to see if this deals the pony up and pay Le'Veon Bell what he thinks he's worth. It will be interesting indeed. Alex Smith, the touchdown pass to Delaney Walker. First touchdown of the day for the AFC. Delaney's going to take the football with him. And an extra point would make it a 10-point game. Well, this is a good hard play action. It looks like, this kind of looks like Alex Smith to Travis Kelsey, except it's Alex Smith to Delaney Walker. Did it twice for the 2000-2001 Rams. Deep throw, nobody there, and it's an interception. Casey Hayward of the Chargers also almost wondered, like, if he was supposed to keep going. Flips it back to Rashad Jones, the safety man for the Dolphins, and they're going to have some fun. Jalen Ramsey with Jones saying, follow me, and Russell Wilson helps shove him out of bounds. Mark Ingram, the primary tackler, so a takeaway for the AFC, the first NFC turnover. Well, Russell th Wilson thinks it's a deep route. Michael Thomas doesn't. And this is when the fun begins. The razzle-dazzle. AFC back in this game. Nick still on the field. Play fake by Derek Carr. And a deep throw toward the end zone. Jump ball. Caught by T.Y. Hilton. Not many win the battle against Patrick Peterson, but T.Y. Hilton did. At a 44-yarder earlier in this quarter. Now trying to punch it in, and they do. LaShawn McCoy, the AFC touchdown. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Down by six with just over 11 minutes to go. Fourth and five. Carr throws it a mile in the air and out of bounds. Tyreek Hill, we think, was the intended receiver, or it was somebody in row four. Looking for the screen. Mark Ingram. Ooh, boy. Yeah, I think they're in the year. That would be flagged. The AFC defenders are looking for the flag. They're all gesturing at this officiating crew. But we asked if the players really care that much about this competition. I guess Mark Ingram really cares. Well, it's the fourth quarter, and I just remember in the Pro Bowl that I Pro Bowls that I was in. Fourth quarter was the time when everyone started counting the money. <laughs> so leading by six across midfield, Sean Payton going for it on fourth down and seven. And Jared Goff's throw is much too low for Jason Witten. Carr steps into the pocket and has his man Jarvis Landry for the first down to the 32-yard line. Tackled by Darius Slay. Half count. Carr surrounded down the seam for a touchdown. Delaney Walker of the Tennessee Titans. And now the AFC is an extra point away from its first lead of the game. They were down 20 to three at the half. In the playoff game against New Orleans, the longest playoff field goal in the league. History, the ball's out. Cameron Hayward got there and Vaughn Miller recovered the ball. 15 a touchdown. He did throw an interception. And the final seconds tick off. Talked at the top of the telecast. Important to take the game seriously. Treat it like a game. Show it its respect. And the players and coaches did again this year.